Welcome to Nest Egg Software, the leader in retirement planning software. This quick start guide will get you up and running quickly. Basically, there's three easy steps. First, you're gonna enter the values of your assets. These are your things that you've saved for retirement, like your 401k, maybe savings accounts, or stock. The second is to allocate those assets to one of four baskets. What it allows you to do is have your assets grow in these baskets before retirement and during retirement. And then the third step is to select your initial retirement numbers, things like the desired annual income that you'd like in the retirement year. Now what we suggest you do before you start filling in the balance sheet is to go get the current values for your retirement assets. Either go get your year-end statements or your quarterly printed out statements, or just go online and look at your accounts and get the latest values so that you can enter them into the balance sheet. So now that you've collected all your paper statements and you have the values for your assets, you can use those to fill in the balance sheet or you can just simply have jotted them down on a simple piece of paper. The first time you open Nest Egg software, you'll come to the balance sheet. And if this is the first time you've ever used the software, you'll see a note that says, please add or choose an account. So you have to create an account first before we can start entering data. Simply go up to the top left-hand corner where it says account, click on that. You'll see a drop-down menu click on the add button. A screen will pop up that has some notes and tips about what the field is for and how the information is used. You'll see that throughout Nestec software. After you've read it, just go ahead and close it. Now you see a new account screen has popped up. The only required data is the account owner's first and last name. Let's go ahead and put that in now. Now the rest of the data on this sheet is uh, very useful for record keeping purposes and some of the printed reports use the data as well. So we suggest you, you fill it out all the way, but you don't have to. All you need is the first and last name of the account owner. Go ahead, go ahead and hit save and close that winner, window. And now you'll see under the current accounts that the account has been created. Once you've created an account, you'll see a note that says, please add or choose a scenario. So now you need to add a scenario, much like you did the account. We'll give it a name. There's a comment section uh, that is just there for note keeping, it has to do with uh, any notes you want to make about the scenario, assumptions, things like that. Uh, go ahead and save that. And now you'll see that you have the scenario is saved as well as the account. Now you're ready to start entering data into the balance sheet. The balance sheet has two sections. The top section is savings and investments, things like CDs, uh, cash, uh, bank accounts. Uh, 401ks, those type of things. And then the bottom half is other income sources, things like Social Security or maybe your pension plan. So to enter the data, just simply click on the block, type the data in. Uh, under the owner, depending on what you filled out in the account sheet, it'll either show just the account owner or the spouse and give you a choice on a drop down menu. And then you have the latest date. You put in the value of whatever that asset is worth today. Go ahead and do the exact same thing for your other income sources. This takes about uh, five to 10 minutes for the average person to fill out is the balance sheet. Once you filled it all out, you will see this blue block right here will show the total amount of all your assets combined. Okay, I filled in some of the information here in the balance sheet to speed this up a little bit. Uh, as you can see, you have $570,000 of total assets in this particular case, which is all of these assets combined. You can see the review date or what the asset was worth on that particular date. You can add a review date anytime you'd like to by simply right clicking, hit add review date, and then put in the latest values. Um, you can have as many review dates as you would like. Just keep adding them and you can see the historical track record of how your assets have performed. Another key note in the balance sheet is by right clicking, you can see a pop-up menu that has a lot of other functions uh, it gives you multiple ways to enter and edit data. So once you filled out the balance sheet, the next tab you can look at is the income sources. This shows by year the various dollar amounts that you just entered into the balance sheet and how they add up to your total amounts. You cannot edit any data here in this sheet. It's only here for informational purposes. All of the numbers need to be changed in the balance sheet. But it's nice to kind of have this all in one place that shows the various income sources. 
Now we come to the real heart and power of Nest Egg software, the basket illustration and the dashboard illustration. Let's look at the basket illustrations first. You click on the basket illustrations, it shows basket settings, and the idea here is here's the amount of desired income that you would like in retirement, when do you plan to retire, how many years of retirement, those type of things. And then what we're going to do is allocate the money that we just put in the balance sheet to these four different baskets where the money you expect to draw early in retirement would be in basket one, basket three and four are going to be the ones that you hope draw uh, at the end of retirement. As you can see, uh, we had $570,000 uh, in our savings from our balance sheet and each of our baskets has zero amount of dollars in there to start with, which shows that they're all overdrawn. Each basket has the amount of years duration that you want to pull money from that basket and then the amount and then how long or excuse me what growth rate do you expect that basket to grow at. We've added this great little calculator which does all the heavy math for you. So when you click on that it calculates the minimum amount of funding you need for that basket based on the settings you have in the blue box. So you can simply click on each of these calculators and anytime you change any of these variables you can always go back and click on the calculator again if you'd like to. Now by just doing that we've distributed the majority of our five hundred seventy thousand dollars to the four different baskets. Um, these are the div different growth rates that you see at the bottom which you can change. So there's six variables in the blue basket settings and then eighteen total three variables for four of each of the four baskets that can be changed at any time. Whenever you change any of these variables, you can see that it automatically recalculates it for you in the basket grid. What the basket grid shows you is it's all nicely color coded. It shows you the year of how, we, how old you are, the year um, of retirement or the year calendar year, and it shows how that basket has grown. And then once you cash it out as income for retirement, it's all color coded to show you year by year where your money is coming from and how you're funding your retirement plan. So in this quick start guide I'm not going to go and show you all the details and functionality of the basket illustrations. It's extremely powerful and once you get in there and start to play with it, look at the different scenarios and see how it affects your retirement planning, you can see all the what-if scenarios that you can possibly imagine and it immediately shows the color coded results for that. The basket illustrations, as I said, is one of the most powerful pieces of Nest Egg software. The last tab is called the Dashboard tab. The Dashboard tab takes all the data from the basket illustrations and copies them over for you. Essentially what you're looking at now is the same data grid that you saw for the basket illustrations graphically displayed. Uh, so it's for people that are visual, it's a lot easier to see the data and how it works here. Again, basket illustrations, this grid data down here is transported over to the dashboard. You can see a nice legend here to show you what each of them mean. You can click on any one of the bars and it will show you the actual value of that bar or you can read from the double Y axis. Well, I hope this quick start guide will help you get up and running quickly with Nest Egg software. We, of course, have a user's manual with much more details and you have a copy of that manual as a PDF uh, when you download the software. It should be in your uh, start menu of your programs. Uh, you can see your future in 15 minutes with Nest Egg software and we look forward to uh, any questions or comments or any way that we can improve it. Send us an email at info, I-N-F-O, at nesteggsoftware.com. Take care.